Hi, it's Uzim again from Ladisco.com. Few years ago, I made this video and uh, this video went viral and uh, so much of you guys liked this video and uh, shared it. But uh, that was not a very perfect video, I must admit. And uh, I was not speaking in this video, just typing in my text editor and uh, today i thought why not to make better version of this video so here i am there are two different ways that i use to connect to linux server from my windows operating system so first of all i will show you the very popular and very basic way that is using putty software so you go to google and search for putty and go to this first link and download this software and install it on your operating system this is very easy step after that open putty software uh, or you can search for it from here just like this and open it and here you need to type the ip address of your server so let's say uh, because I have set up uh, domain for this server so I can type my domain here instead of IP address applet.host and here you need to type SSH port uh, by default the port of your server is 22 but if you change it or your hosting provider change it then in that case uh, you need to type your custom port here because I have changed port of my server applet.host to double one double two. So I will type double one double two here. The next thing is to select SSH from here and then click on open. Here you will type the username from which you want to connect to the server. So in my case uh, I can log in with uh, my name Azim and my password. and hopefully it will connect to my server yes i am logged in sorry ls so this is my server and we are logged into the server perfect this was the very first and basic way to connect to your linux server using putty software there is another way let me show you that as well so let me close this connection For this you need to install another software which is git bash. Download it and install it. After downloading and installing, open your terminal window or uh, right click and then click on this git bash here. You can either use this git pass terminal or you can use your regular terminal window to execute these following commands. So you will type ssh then your username which is azim at applet.host then dash p for port and here you specify the port of your server. Again by default is 22 otherwise you will type your custom port for my case which is double one double two then press enter to connect to the server using this azim user and let me type the password for this azim user and we are logged in in our server so that was it i hope you guys enjoy this video and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching